Hi everyone. Praise God. It's Monday, <laughs> January 30th, Pinpoint Prayer Team. Praise God. I'm Nina Blunt. And I'm Greg I'm Boyd. I'm Nina Boyd. <laughs> She's Nina, that's, what's, anyway, that's Nina Blunt Boyd. That's her right. middle that's, name. Exactly. I'm Gregory Boyd. It's not really a middle name, but anyway, okay. Hi. Hello everyone. Okay. <laughs> I said that already, didn't I? Yeah, she um, did. A little goofy. That's okay. How you pronounce her name? Marina or Mar Maureen? Maureen. How you doing? From Australia and, and Lu Luba. Luba. She's from Tulsa. No, she's from uh, California, Sacramento. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> and that's Irvin. He's from Bahamas. Yeah. Wow. Hey, Irvin. We got Joe from I Pennsylvania. <laughs> Anointed. Yes, he is. Joe Good Jr. Yes, he is. He's a really anointed young man. I might put some of his music on and let you guys hear it sometime. He's from Bahamas. Man, we got a lot of people from different countries here. Joe's the only one representing the United States. <laughs> so, well, praise God. We, we're, we're happy to have you on. Um, I, I got some information I want to throw at you all on a different subject, so to speak. Actually, this is a subject that we're teaching at our church. How you doing, Mary? Mary Liddell. What's <laughs> up, chick? <laughs> so this is a subject that we're teaching at our church. And um, actually, I, I'm, it really opened my eyes and my understanding <laughs> yesterday when Gary Carpenter, uh, he's uh, one of the teachers at our church at the Family Prayer Center. I don't want to mess this messed this up in any kind of way because he did such an excellent job but I just put a twist in it with my personality so that's what we tend to do we steal other messages from other ministers but then we 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 teach it from a revelation from what how he's talking to us hope I said that right um I want to talk about um first let's go to uh, Acts 10 38 everybody knows that scripture okay you want to read it how God anointed... It, Acts 10.38. I'm sorry, don't look at me like that. Go. Acts 10.38. <laughs> How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Amen. Well, when, I, when, I, when, when, you, when you hear this scripture, you hear that when God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost... But it's like when we hear it, we don't hear it. It's like we still look at Jesus that he can do any and everything. Jesus Jesus healed the blind people. Jesus did this. Jesus did that. And he did through the Holy Spirit. I guess I, I'm going to try my best to, to teach this in such a way that you all can understand what, why I'm so excited right now. Jesus did not heal the sick in his own power, in his, in his own power in his own deity. He didn't come down here on this planet in his own power. His power. His the, the kind of power that he's walking in today um, in heaven. He didn't come down here with that. He came down with, here with the same equipment that we have. The Holy Spirit. Now, when God anointed Jesus, then Jesus all Jesus needed to cause this, this power to work in his life was the authority that he had. When he spoke the word, things happened. Mm -hmm. Even the centurion was so, he understood the power that Jesus walked in because he knew it wasn't him that caused the power, the things to change. It, was, it, was, it wasn't Jesus that did it. It was the anointing that he walked in that did it. But what, what stops us is that we feel like that we can never touch Jesus. We feel like we can never attain to the kind of power that he's walking in. But really, we have it. It's available to us. It's almost like, like I talked about my son. He's he's learning how to drive now, and uh, but until he get his paperwork and get all the things that he need that that says that he's qualified to drive, he ain't driving on the streets. <laughs> so the reason, in other words, once you get that paper that says you are qualified, you are qualified to get on the on the street and drive. That's, and in other words, that power has always been there available for him, but until he gets to maturity, until he gets to a place of understanding, then that power can work through him, power to drive on his own. That's the same way Jesus operated. That's the same way the spiritual law works in the earth. 
you think Adam named all the animals and Adam did this? Adam did do it, but he did it with the power that was backing him up. He was representing God in earth. So when Adam said this and said that, it was that way because he had the power that was backing him up. In other words, uh, a police officer, like we talk about at our church, um, uh, you could be a young lady with a police outfit on, you can probably weigh 115 pounds, but you can stand in the middle of the street and stick your hand out and say, stop. That person in that, in that truck that's driving that big bus or whatever, they will stop. Why? Because what's backing her up is the city that she's representing, like Tulsa here, that when she says stop in the name of the authority that's backing me up is Tulsa. So in other words, if you try to go by that bypass, her, you can get into a world of trouble because you, you're violating laws. Mm -hmm. It's just what's backing us up. Every Christian is the power of God. It's the, it's the God that's in us. We, we have to grow up into that new nature. The new nature is the, it just, it's who we are. But when we are Christian, a ba baby Christian, we're a baby, we have to grow up in that. And who helps us to grow up? It's the Holy Spirit. His responsibility is to help us grow up into who we, into that born again spirit, into that born again nature. That nature that we have is just like God. We don't automatically know everything when we become a Christian. Who teaches us? You don't teach yourself because you don't have the capability of teaching us. That's what a lot of churches are doing. Mm -hmm. They're trying to, to understand the scriptures without the Holy Spirit. That's why we got so many different denominations. And so many ways people are thinking to go this way, to do that, to do this, to do that. I mean, it's like my pastor always say, it's like you have a revelation of something, but you, it's like you're trying to get it out, but it's not coming out the way you want to because it's, it's freshening, it's new in you. So it's like when he taught this uh, yesterday, it's like this is the missing ingredient for the power of God to be manifesting in the earth. He gave an example. Of a, of a crane operator, I mean a giant crane operator. His job is to move all this debris down there, heavy, tons of tons of whatever he's moving out the way. And uh, he's just sitting there in his chair and probably eating on some Cheetos or whatever. <laughs> but he's he's able to, to to move all this heavy stuff out the way. Now the question is, who's moving all that stuff? Is it him, or is it the crane? Is it you laying hands on the sick, seeing them recover, and is the power is you that's healing them, or is it the anointing that's healing them? No, it, what it is, it, it's not the person. The person is just pushing the buttons. The person is the one that's in the authority. He's doing the, he's doing what he's pushing the button to desire to see what happens to move what debris. It's the crane that's doing all the work. But you see what I'm saying? It's the you speak the authority when you get more mature. The reason why a lot of us, I'm just going on and on here. The reason, okay. the reason why a lot of us are not walking in, in power and it's consistent is because we're not mature yet. We're not, we haven't grown up in this new nature that we have. The more we seek after maturity and to grow up and, and trust the Holy Spirit to help you grow up, then he can move you forward. And when he moves you forward, he can trust you with the power to come. You have, you will have, you will do the things that Jesus did. You, you, well, I can't do the things that Jesus did. Why come you can't? Because that was Jesus. He's your brother. We are born into the family of God. Yes, you can. What was Jesus' mandate? Jesus' mandate here was to cause his father to become our father. He corrected what the first Adam messed up in. When he gave his dominion away. Now we have it back in Christ. When we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. We accepted the second Adam. So the Holy Spirit now dwells on the inside of us. And his job is to teach you. Is to teach you. To teach you how to be an overcomer. While we're down here. And so the more he teaches you. And the more you submit to his teachings. And the more you become a doer of the things that he's teaching you, then he can begin to move you forward in power. And then that power to the fullness of it is, is still not you doing it. You're not doing it. 
It's because you understand how the system operates. You can walk in more power down here and you realize that it's not you. It's him. It's the Holy Spirit on the inside of you. But see, the wonderful thing about it is he can trust you with so much of his power that he will let you walk in it. He will let you operate in it because he knows that you won't hurt anybody because you're mature. That's why you see a lot of people, ministers that are walking in power, it only operates when they clock in. But when they clock out, it lifts because they're not mature enough to stay in it. A mature Christian is very few that we know of, I hate to say it that way, that can actually walk in this power when, they on, when they're preaching, when they're ministering, and when they get off and go to the store, it's still there because God trusts you. You understand what I'm saying? The Word of God says in uh, Corinthians, he says that Apollos, wallet, water, I think it was Apollos, and Paul, uh, what is it, water, plant, Paul plants, and then he does the increase. I might have messed that scripture up. He does the increase. He is the one working through you because he can trust you with his power. So the, the crane operator is working the, the giant machine, but he's just pushing buttons. But to me, the crane operator, operator represents a person that's mature and understands the equipment that he has and understands how to use it. And then the power was available to them. Do you think they will have a person that don't understand how powerful that, that machinery, machinery is operating it? Because he can hurt a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Cause a lot of damage. Exactly. And so that's why we are seeing the church in the condition that it is in. We're still trying to do things in our own strength. When you try to do things in your own strength, you're basically saying, I don't need your power, God. I can do it myself. And when you do things yourself, you're going to get the results of it yourself. In other words, it's not going to accomplish what it could accomplish. Mm. But you, when you learn to lean on Jesus, or when you learn to lean on the Holy Spirit, and when you learn to lean on his power and his might, then he can do more through you than you can do. He can do more than in you in, in one year than you can do in your whole lifetime in your own in, in your own strength and you know the wonderful thing about this is when you stand before Jesus he will give you a reward like you did it yourself you can't beat that you will get a reward for walking in letting him work through you mm. see Jesus Jesus did not do any miracle down here on the earth the Holy Spirit in Jesus did the miracles. He have uh, the Holy Spirit. Do you think Jesus, when he was a baby, cuckoo, caca, cuckoo? <laughs> you think he knew everything? No. Well, that's Jesus. That's that Jesus was the Son of God. He knew everything. No, he had to learn just like we do. Mm -hmm. He had to learn who he was. That the scriptures in the Old Testament was talking about him. Who taught him that? The same teacher that you have, the Holy Spirit. His job is to teach you how much power is available to you. So I'd rather be the one letting, learning how to, to lean on him to work. When I speak authority and pray for these cities that we're praying for, I'm praying, believing that my prayers are heard. And I'm just like Adam before he fell in the garden when he was naming the animals. I'm just like Jesus when he said things, this and that, and it happened. And I'm speaking over these cities like this. Things are changing because I learned that it's not me that's changing. Amen. I learned that it's, it's him that's in me. The word of God says, great is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You're powerful. Amen. You have all of heaven. And heaven is big. It's a big place out there. It's a big, just our galaxy alone, I heard it takes, and this is their mathematical way of explaining it. It takes 2.4 million light years to get out of our galaxy. Can you imagine that? And we have that type of power that created all that backing us up when we speak the word of God. Mm. <laughs> See, Praying in tongues will give you the understanding on how powerful you are. And that's why he wants to get you out the way. He wants you to work on the things in your life that's causing you to have to walk in your own ability. 
He wants you to dis eventually when you die to all that stuff and more of him is full of you, you are full of him. The Holy Spirit can work through you 100 percent of his power. And you can go to sleep, you can wake up, and you can walk in that power. You know how we usually do when somebody needs prayer? We got to pray first to get ready to pray for that person. Build myself up. When you, you get into the attitude of staying built up and staying strong in the spirit, you won't have to pray. They say, be healed. Why are you saying be healed? Is that something that you can do that can make that person better? No. Only thing you can do is learn to step out the way and let him that's in you do the work. Mm. It's not. I'm. I'm. I'm realizing it, and my mm. mind is going swirly right now because I'm. I'm just. I'm really excited that we have the kind of power to walk this earth, and we're not walking in the fullness of it. But the little that's flowing through different ministers is doing a lot of great work. Can you imagine a man of God, a woman of God, walking in the fullness of trusting God to work through them to accomplish the things that they're supposed to do on earth? Oh my God. We had Mother Teresa. She wasn't even filled with the Spirit. But she trusted God to a, such a degree that it, it took her all over the world. Yes, it did. She accomplished a lot of things just in her born-again spirit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have that power. We have that power that's available to us. We need to grow up. Because the more we work on us, the more he can flow through you. Because the more of you out the way, the more it's going to operate through you. It's him. Yes. And then it won't be a matter of, I wonder if it's going to happen when you go and pray for somebody that's about to die. <laughs> It'll happen because he found a vessel that he can work through. Mm. Man, I jump for joy when I see one, one little tiny healing. I'm like, wow, God is so good. But God is saying, oh, Greg, I wish you can understand it. I want to do more through you if you can just learn to grow up. Me. Oh, Lord. The more we grow up, we can be just like the scriptures. Well, read that again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put my name in there. Acts 10.38. How God anointed... Gregory. Gregory of Nazareth what? or of St. Louis. Oh, well, Tulsa now. <laughs> Say it again. Read it again. How God anointed, anointed Gregory of Tulsa with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil... For God was with him. Was with Gregory. Okay, now you said when God anointed you with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And um, and with power. And with power. And you went about. You went about. Doing good. Doing good. Come on, somebody. And healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with you. you. That's who you are. When the Bible talks about Jesus, it's talking about you. My Lord. So when you begin to realize and let him grow you up. Mm, mm, mm. And it doesn't take forever to, for us to be grown up. Because when Paul left Corinthian, from what I heard through history, that he was, it was only three years. And then he was talking about that they should be eating meat by the end. Mm. But they, were, they went back into the world. They went back acting like unbelievers. Then he had to speak of judgment by letter that caused change in that place. That's the kind of power that he walked in. Mm. He walked in. The, I don't know if he walked in the fullness of who he was. I, we say in the Bible that means he walked in the fullness of. But you know what? I don't know. Because I'm realizing that it's, it's, it's endless. The mm. kind of power that a Christian can walk in. My Lord. That's why it hurts my heart to hear young people killing themselves mm. over nothing. I'm killing you because you are don't have the right colors on. My, my, my. Woo. I'm killing you because you got $30 in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Take a life. You got shoes on your feet that I want. I'm going to take your life. And people die for senseless things. Lord, have mercy. The reason why these things are happening is because the church is trying to do it. I'm going to protest. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to let my voice be heard. What is God saying to you? You know? That's why I have a lot of problems with a lot of things I'm seeing that's on the land today. I believe in prayer. I believe in working on me to grow up, to mature, to begin to let the Holy Spirit flow through me the way he will to flow through all of us. And then we speak the word and things will happen. Amen. Well, bro, that don't work. Well, you know why it don't work? Because you got a bunch of... Self.
You know? Mm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Man, I may need to stay on this subject. <laughs> mm. I'm excited. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I mean, when he when he when he mentioned my past uh, sis, uh teacher at our church mentioned that the guy that's in the giant machine, the crane, and he's sitting there just pushing buttons, but he has the the ability to move move heavy objects. And then I got to thinking, I said, you know what? It wasn't him that was moving the objects. It was it was the Holy Spirit. But see, the Holy Spirit, he wants to give this power to the church. It's, God is no respect of person. I've heard all types of incredible miracles. But you know what? That should be, miracles should be uh, a norm today. It should be normal to hear about a miracle. It should be normal to hear about people getting healed of cancer. It should be normal that blind eyes are opening on a consistent basis. Not just a spark here and a spark there. And we and we doing everything in our strength to conjure up. We, we do the same kind of prayer. We do the same kind of thing to get God to move the same kind of way. It's not that way. It's about you maturing in here. And then he can trust you with the powers to come. Hallelujah. I really hope this message sounds good. Honey. It's good, honey. Because we got to get ready to pray. That's like when I heard that message. When I think about the places we pray for, I really, I see that we have the victory. I see okay. it's a done deal. Because it's not me. You know what makes us scratch our head? Take, take all your hair off your head? <laughs> It's because we're trying to figure out how I'm going to fix this problem. Oh, oh I, I got these bills. Now, listen, I got bills. I got, I need a job. Or oh, I, I need this. I got a growth on my back. and I want to get rid of it. You have the ability to, to change that because of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is, is in, a, in a jail cell inside of you saying, let me out. I want you to grow up so you can let me out. Mm. And once you grow up, and that, and that, and that new, and learn about. Let the Holy Spirit teach you the ability that you have in that new nature. See, the new nature is not the power. If I say that correctly, I'm still mm -hmm. learning here. <laughs> the new nature is who you are. But a lot of us don't know who we are. Mm. So once you begin to realize who you are, the power can flow through you because of the Holy Spirit. He's the one that controls the power. He's the one. That's his responsibility is to flow through you. And, that, and that's what Jesus did. He learned over a period of time that it's not him that's doing any of the work, but it's the Holy Spirit that's in him, that's flowing through him, that caused the change that we, we want to be just like Jesus. And I do want to be like Jesus. I want to learn how to step out of the way like he did and do the works that we need to do down here on this planet. I look at Jesus for who he is. He's my savior. He's my brother. He is God, and I am, I am in the image of God. So that means I can do the same works in the flesh that he did when he was in the flesh because I learned how to let the Holy Spirit grow me up to walk in this ability. Wow, I sound interesting there. <laughs> kind of shocking myself here. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Maybe we, we, we'll talk about this more. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. All right. Okay, we're going to start off with a small city called Oakland, California. Small, little small minor problem. Compared to the universe, Oakland, California is it's not even a dust. I'm so, I'm so mighty now <laughs> in him <laughs> because I'm learning to see my authority through his eyes. Mm. Man, I got to hear this over again. Praise the Lord. Okay, Father, we thank you right now that Oakland, California is a done deal. Yes, Lord. We think that the angels are saturating that country, that country, saturating that city with salvation, Thank saturating you, it with hope. We command the churches to rise up and begin to speak the word of God Thank over their neighborhoods Jesus. and over their city, causing yes, the enemy's work to be pushed back in the name of Jesus you, until Father. they grow up in Jesus' name. Thank we you, thank Father. you. Hallelujah. And Lord, we lift up Detroit right now in Jesus' name. And we see your power, Lord God, working in Detroit, Father. We see your power, Lord God, changing things. And we say that it's going to continue to change. It's going to continue to grow. And it is going to outweigh 
and wear out the plan of the enemy there right now in the name of Jesus. The enemy is going to run out of steam, but the Spirit of God will never run out of steam. Amen. We say that Detroit is forever changed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And Father, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I look at Chicago as, as a done deal. Yes. We have that city. We say Chicago is in a revival of change. Yes, Lord. We say that the people are beginning to have an uh, uh, awareness of God, Thank awareness you, of Jesus, an Thank awareness you, of the power of God is beginning to flow through that city, causing, pushing back the powers of darkness because we are calling the powers of darkness to be pushed back in the name of Jesus. We, it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by your spirit. Yes, Lord. I use my authority and I cause things to move and he backs it up because because it's in line with his word. Thank you, So, Father, Jesus. we thank you right now that Chicago Hallelujah. is changed in Jesus' thank name. Thank you, Father. And we thank you, Lord God, that that same power, Lord God, is working over Baltimore, Father God, right now in Jesus' name. That everything that we pray is coming to pass. That Baltimore has a much better outlook than it had a past. We say that Baltimore's, the people of Baltimore are blessed we say they're refreshed we say there's no more of the spirit of death or or in the churches covering up lies and covering up sin we say right now in jesus name that all that is uncovered and people are set free healed and delivered in the name of jesus hallelujah jesus. hallelujah and father we lift up syria the country syria we say father in the name of jesus that we have authority and we thank you father that the prayers that we have spoken over this country is working right now yes Lord. that the terrorist organizations are beginning to weaken in power they they cannot accomplish the things that they used to be able to accomplish thank and you, eventually father. it's going to weaken to such a degree that it will be a terrorist group anymore that's thank my you, confession over this Lord. over this country and i think that the churches that are there hitting will begin their voices their voices are being heard in the spirit and causing change in that country in the name of jesus yes, Lord. we think that that country we win that country over to the lord yes, that is hallelujah. god's country thank you we Lord call jesus. syria saved in jesus name yes lord and we lift up the ukraine father god and we thank you lord that your spirit and your power is resting over the Ukraine. Father, we thank you for a new system of government there, Lord God. We thank you, Father, that that the Christians there, Lord God, are crying out for you, Father. And we thank you, Lord, that your spirit is answering uh, their prayers, Father God, right now in Jesus' name. We thank you for a new system of government there. We thank you for religious freedom, Father, there. Right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. So we're on Japan now, right? Mm -hmm. And Father, we thank you that Japan is in the midst of a big transaction of change. Yes, hallelujah. We thank you right now that the angels are now are already been causing the spirit of religion to be pushed back in the name of Jesus you, because God. of our authority. We're thank pushing you, back Lord. the spirit of religion over Japan, over Ukraine, over Syria in the name of Jesus. Thank Father, you, we thank Lord. you that that country is, is foundation is strong and the people will begin to know about the power of God operating in that country and it caused them to make a decision of change in the name of Jesus. So thank we call you, Japan Lord. saved in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord, we pray over Haiti right now. We come into agreement right now that everything that's good about Haiti, Lord God, will will be blessed, Father. That if the locusts have come in, if canker worms have eaten up, Lord God, uh, their progress, their their wealth, their their blessing, Lord God, we say all of that is restored yes, right Lord. now in the name of Jesus, and it's not restored so they can, it can go into the hands of the devil. It's restored so that it can go into the hands of the people of God. Hallelujah. We say it's going into the hands of the people that need the help, Lord, that need the relief, that need the resources, Father, and we call it in right now from the north, south east and the west over Haiti right now in Jesus name hallelujah and father we lift up North Korea in the name of Jesus and I thank you and I know my faith is so strong right now I say that Kim Jong, whatever his name Jong is, Jong Yoon, we thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that he's going to have a supernatural experience with Jesus, yes, and he will have to make a decision 
Thank in the name you, of Jesus. Father. That young man, I call him saved in Jesus' yes, name. In Jesus I call his staff ministers that, that are giving him the information that they want him to carry out. We thank you right now that it that whatever there's a change that's, that's taking place in the leadership there yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus. Thank and you, we Father. thank you, Father. That country, we call that country saved in the name thank of Jesus. You, and Jesus. whatever they are trying to do, develop a nuclear bomb, Father, I think there's a halt on that until they grow up. In Thank Jesus' you, Lord name. Jesus. Wow, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man. All right. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to pray pray for people that you love. I do want to say one thing. Uh, I blame myself for it. Uh, Kathy, if you could, I know it's one person, Anastasia, that you want us to pray for, but maybe you can give me that other person's name right now and I can remember what you want me to pray about. And as well as Carol, but she's not on here. But uh, I wanted to find out. She wanted me to pray for her boss. So her boss... Okay fell and broke his spine and and something like that so to me i call that nothing to god so we're going to pray now i'm going to go ahead and start praying for the healings father we thank you that, that elijah is getting stronger and stronger in the name yes, of jesus Lord. in his body thank i thank you, you father that elijah is healed in the name of jesus his yes, his muscles are working the way they're supposed to he is his in, intellect is Bless that young man with a with a very high IQ in the name of Jesus. Yes, I thank Lord. you, Father, that he's going to be functioning correctly and just like any other young person. We thank call him totally Jesus. healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And, Father, I lift up Terry, that's a pastor in Pennsylvania. Father, I lift him up, and I thank you right now that he is healed. I thank you, Father, that his body is functioning correctly, and yes. I thank you right now that the cancer that he was fighting is no longer there. And Thank I think the doctors Lord. already gave him six months to live, and he's already past a month now. Thank and he's doing God. so much better. Thank you, Lord. We call him totally healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I thank you right now for Timothy that's in um, Tennessee, that he ran away from home. Father, I thank you that you are dealing with that young man on an incredible measure, that he is having a, a, a lot of decisions that he has, he's, that's, that's coming to him, causing him to... To go in the right direction. I thank you that whatever he tries to do, he can't do it when it's not of God. Yes, he has Lord. to go back home Hallelujah, in Jesus, Jesus' name. We call that young man saved and thank delivered you, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Jesus. So those two people were Cecile and Anastasia. Okay, we can pray for her now. Father, we lift up uh, we lift Cecile. Cecile right now and Anastasia. We thank you that Anastasia is healed of cancer. Yes, Lord. I forgot what she said what was going on with Cecile. Father, I thank you right now. colon cancer, I believe. Well, colon cancer was uh, Anastasia. Oh. I'm okay, sorry, yeah. she just told me about Cecile. We call these two people heal. We thank you right now that you are visiting these two people right now, wherever they at. And, and beginning to do the work that needs to be done in their bodies. We thank you right now that cancer is being dissolved in their body. Yes. Sickness is being dissolved in their body. Hallelujah, right Jesus. now in Jesus' name. By your power. By your power. Hallelujah. And I lift up Carol, her boss. Uh, I forgot the name, but you, Carol's boss. <laughs> Father, we say that his spine is healed. Yes, Lord. I command his spine to grow back together. I command it to be normal in the name of Jesus. Well, wow, that sounds like you're speaking things that's crazy. No, I'm speaking what I believe. And I just Thank need you, you to be in agreement with me. So, Father, I think that this man will not be paralyzed Thank and he you, will Jesus. heal the way he's supposed to heal. Hallelujah. We call it done in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. And, Lord, we lift up Vince and Alina, Father God, and we say that they have everything that they need. We, th we say that um, sickness and disease cannot come anywhere near them, Father. We say, Lord God, all their needs are met in Jesus' name. We lift up Kathia and Matt and her wonderful children and family, Lord God. And we say, Lord God, that you are making a way out of no way for them, Father God. That everything that they've been doing in your name, Lord God, is not being not seen by you, Father. But we thank you, Lord God, that you are hit, bringing them to greater things, Father God, things that they uh, don't know, may not know about yet, Lord God. But we say that right now you are sustaining them and that they had, we say, we call into existence even more resources because we know that they're people of God and that they love doing your work in spite of whatever, Lord God. So we say bless them, Lord God, yes, uh, because they have been faithful, Father God. 
And we lift up Pastor Larry Mack. Um, and we say that uh, he has all his needs met, that his offerings, Lord God, in the church and for what he has to do, his responsibilities, he has a big need coming up, Lord God. And we call it in right now in Jesus' name. Every single person penny that he needs father we call it in right now in the name of jesus yes, lord. in both locations and personally or whatever it is because he is about his father's business and we say god that you're going to give the increase father and we just thank you for that lord god right now in and, jesus and name. julie father we, we lift up julia lord god right now in jesus name in california in california and we just thank you father that what she's been dealing with is a done deal Yes, Lord. And the young lady named Sheree, uh, I believe Kimberly Harris, uh, her friend, our sister, I think, we call that young lady heal of cancer in the name of Jesus. We, we command cancer to begin to dissolve in their bodies right now. We have that authority. We speak it to be so right now yes, in Lord. Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. And Hallelujah. I, I lift up Lino and Marilyn, Father, and I thank you, Father, their needs are met, and Father, the what they're facing, we thank you by February 9th that it will be a done deal. It will be done, and they will get everything that they've been asking for. Right now, in, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. No further delays in the name of Jesus. No further delays in Jesus' name. We have, They have the victory right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Mm. And we lift up Micaliah and her school, Father God. And we thank you, Lord God, for more schools sponsors lord god to sponsor more children in the school and everything that she needs lord god is at her fingertips and we thank you lord god for the, the prayer uh group that they form lord god and that your divine protection is over all of those young people going there to pray father as they come and as they go lord god and over michaelia's house and her children and her husband her family lord god right now in jesus, jesus name thanks. And Father, I just I I see Irvin on here. I just he's he's in Bahamas. He has a, he's a singer. He sings Christian music, and and he's been looking for a breakthrough. And and his wife is on too watching. <laughs> Father, we lift this couple up. Yes. And Father, we thank you right now that everything that's been holding them back from seceding, we command it to be pushed back right now yes. in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. and they will begin to see breakthroughs in their personal life as well as their ministry. Thank in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. And we speak yes, it to be Lord. so that this this couple uh, will, what is her name? Arlie? Althea. Uh, Althea. We thank you that Althea and her, their family, we call them blessed in Jesus' yes, name. Lord. Now let the anointing begin to do the work and the angels begin to move things out the way, as well as for Kim and Toka as in New Zealand. We thank you right now that you're moving on them as well. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Speaking of blessings right now. Thank you, in Jesus', Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Father, we lift up the churches. We lift up, I lift up the prayer center, the family prayer center for the vision of what we've been seeking God for is outpouring. Father, we thank you that we are now in a position to begin to receive this outpouring. And we thank you that the anointing is there to pull us down. And we, th we pray for every minister at the prayer center. We thank you that, that they're getting all their needs met and their prayers answered concerning yes, the things that they're believing God for. Yes, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And Father, we lift up I lift up all your churches as well, and I believe that the finances is coming back to the churches, and the people are beginning to have a desire to want to be taught again Thank in you, Jesus' Father. name. Thank you, Lord. And Father, I just lift up, I lift up us, my family. <laughs> and Father, the things that we're believing God for, we believe in God for a, 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 a live server. Live stream server. Live stream server, so we can eventually just use Facebook just to do announcements. Father, we just thank you that we have that. And we thank yes. you that the manifestation of it is coming in yes, Jesus' name. Lord. Hallelujah. And so we can begin to have this group and we're going to continue Speak to grow. Speak it into being right now in Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I just thank you right now for every person that's watching this, this broadcast. Whatever they're going through, they're dealing with cancer, they're dealing with sickness, they're dealing with financial lack, they're dealing with depression, whatever the situation is, we call it a done deal. Yes, we call them healed. We call them set free. Thank we call God. the finances in. We command angels to go and, 
so many different directions for each one of these members of what we're doing. Yes, and we Lord. command it's a done deal thank in you, Jesus, Jesus' name. You need direction, Lord God. We thank you, Father. Yes. That that is right there for you, Father. Right now in Jesus. Speak to their hearts, Lord. Speak to them in such a way that they know that it's you, Father. Yes. We just give you all the praise for that, Lord, right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Maybe Hallelujah. I, I need to stay on this subject because I'm going to learn more and I'm going to continue to teach. And I'm going I'm to teach what they're teaching at our church on this subject because it's enough is enough. Amen. I mean, the church has been letting so much happen to all of us because we are trying to fix things in our own strength. Well, when you say the church has been letting so much I'm talking, happen. I'm sorry, the church as a whole. Okay. I'm not talking about our church. I'm talking about the church as a whole. Mm -hmm. We've been letting the devil run over us because somehow we have let our guards down. Mm -hmm. You remember I told you how the enemy is? He drops. It's like his name, uh, the devil, it means uh, penetration. He drops. It's like a drip on a rock. And over a period of 100 years, he penetrated that rock. That's what he does. To the, he has done to the church. The, the, the church should be walking in so much more power than we are walking in. Mm -hmm. It's because he dripped and dripped on this on this generation and remember a generation is 40 years so he continued to drip and eventually he penetrated and took this out of the church and took that out of the church what do you think he, the last thing he's after in this time he's after salvation mm. after why you won't believe in Jesus anymore you believe that Christianity is just a choice yeah you can so, worship a cow and still make go it to in. heaven yeah. yeah so but he has took so much from the church so, but what God is doing now through through different people like us and many others is encouraging the body of Christ to pick up the things that we have dropped. And Amen. that's learning to let the Holy Spirit become your guidance, your teacher. Hallelujah. So he can begin to trust you with the powers to come. The kind of power that he won't just take off of you. You'll be a believer's anointing. When you go places, things change because of who you are. And Amen. you understand that power that you can walk in. Yes, hallelujah. hallelujah. All right, we love you guys. We appreciate you coming on, and we will see you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a good evening. Thank you for sharing the video. Thank you for taking the time to pray. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless.